contracts 1 general principles offer and acceptance in english medium so far i have delivered 118 like 89 lectures this is 190th lecture in this lecture i wish to uh, explain in english media uh, meaning definition elements of uh, offer and acceptance uh, dear friends so uh, this lecture offer and acceptance with the similar content i uploaded some three years back but uh, this is my revised lecture making some changes so the both uh, that lecture will cover some points this lecture cover some some other important points I, su I suggest you there is no wrong to follow both the lectures instead of watching one lecture two times you watch that lecture once this lecture once it will be useful dear student friends so many students are asking me pdf i am not able to do it uh, you can uh, uh, take the help of stenographer and do it i have no objection regarding if any publisher comes forward i will release these uh, all subjects in below around 50 pages books i have inclination if any publisher ask me i will do it and the second thing is uh, students are asking me you know, to inform important questions and answers in subject wise i will take one class how when you have to prepare uh, 10 to 12 essays on each subject first you have to read five essays then you have to read three essays then you have to read two if you still you have capacity you can read ten but i know the capacity of students most of the students how many essays they will be able to read so i think uh, not more than 100 pages most of the students will not be able to follow out of that they have to uh, by heart the section by heart the cases and then whoever will be able to prepare that much that the information got by hearted such students will be able to do it when you have to maintain good number of side reading section number cases side readings good head writing then you then only you will be able to draw the attention of the examiner and can get good marks all these things i will explain in detail and this class i wish to explain in detail meaning definition and elements of offer uh, revocation of offer uh, revocation of offer cross offers standing offers or open offers or continuing offers acceptance meaning definition elements revocation of acceptance and communication of acceptance are the topics for discussion today in this class from here afterwards every lecture in future will be uploaded not only in english but also in telugu because uh, even though the english lecture is recorded written time it will be revised with some new points so you have there is no wrong to follow this first of all i am taking the common subjects for llb course Comprehensive judicial officer uh, screening test judicial officer's main examination and uh, competitive exam these subjects I, I will cover after completing these contracts one both in telugu and english uh, some uh, four, four five lectures are there i will complete these all the five lectures before the end of this month june and uh, july first week i will proceed to uh, jurisprudence i will deliver some uh, four to five lectures uh, within 10 to 15 days they will be completed by july 15th jurisprudence will be over and july 16th onwards i will proceed to second semester uh, constitution law 2 i covered uh, two lectures uh, two uh, amendment and uh, judicial review and uh, independence of judiciary judicial activism uh, center state relations uh, services uh, those topics i will complete from uh, constitution law 2 english and uh, telugu thereafter i will i will take up uh, i will i will uh, take up uh, remaining subjects of uh, semester second semester if any in second semester contracts to is there uploaded long back family law to is uh, succession and uh, joint family i think these two are not available not uh, prescribed for study in competitive exam screening test if they are prescribed you please tell me i will upload them also then constitutional law 2 i will be covering some uh, universities uh, professional ethics is in the second semester uh, some university evidence is in semester what are the subjects you some of you may uh, give me 
list of second semesters for uh, various uh, universities so the what is the what are the subjects common to uh, all universities the second semester i will take up dear friend i once again request you uh, to put my lectures uh, in playlist all contracts one 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 set uh, property law one student has uh, put uh, indian penal code in uh, one set because i delivered nearly 15 lectures in ipc in addition to that uh, other others lectures also he has put in one playlist my daughter in law put some uh, playlists if you put it it will be convenient for them so anybody who wants to appear for competitive exam and uh, you may be a candidate to llb examination candidate for uh, uh, judicial officer exam or group 1 group 2 any competitive exam i since you are even if you are a national law school student advocate or anybody if you are interested to know subject my subjects are my lectures are the video lectures are the most useful uh, in a very shortest span of time more volume is delivered this lecture type of lectures have not yet been uploaded by anybody in india so far when after seeing me i some some other teachers my student friend my te colleagues may come forward may be inspired and deliver you deliver upload upload lectures like me so that my student friends will be at very good benefit uh, this is the reason i am doing uh, dear friends don't make adverse comments um, so my job is my life ambition is to deliver lecture on all the subject unexpectedly telugu medium came into my root because of telugu medium i am telling because telugu media students are loving me like anything they are really eagerly looking for that i must respect that their uh, interest in uh, learning the subject and uh, as a being the mother tongue i am doing help to them also so th this is the thing so anything uh, the students of english media should not get disappointed that is why whatever lecture i am going to uh, upload it will be both in english and uh, telugu media now coming to the subject uh, offer meaning definition and element offer in the sense uh, offer and acceptance are the two wheels of an agreement if offer under section 2a is valid and uh, acceptance under section 2b is valid the agreement will become valid agreement if the agreement is valid agreement it will be a contract if it is a contract it will be enforceable if one person fails to do his performance the other person can go to court and get the work uh, performed so this is what is called agreement so uh, in anything whenever any transaction is entered into whenever an agreement is entered into to purchase a house mortgage lease uh, purchase of tv radio contracts uh, deal with movable property solely immovable property subject is dealt in uh, uh dealt with uh, transfer of property act 1882 and uh, transfer of piece of paper transfer of money through pass of piece of paper paper transactions are studied in negotiable instrument act all these things i taught several times in several subjects so this is why in contract uh, if anybody wants to purchase any two wheeler four wheeler uh, uh, tv radio tv radio etc some contract is entered into for that two persons are necessary in certain per cases two or three two or more persons will be there but still there will be a collateral contract when three persons are there the three act contracts will be created as in the case of contract of guarantee trustee beneficiary all these things i told you dear friend no contract uh, to a contract uh, to, to formation of uh, a agreement to be constituted offer and acceptance should be there offer must be valid as per section 2a of indian contract act 1872 offer acceptance must be valid as per uh, section 2b of the indian contract act 1872 if offer and acceptance are valid the agreement will be valid if the agreement is valid the contract will be valid and uh, enforceable so this is to constitute a contract there must be at least uh, two parties one has to make offer other has to accept it in a contract there may be purchaser will be there purchaser and seller may be there mortgager or mortgagee may be there in the seller of tv purchaser of tv may be there borrower is there lender is there uh, that the borrower means who takes loan of 1 lakh uh, lender means who takes gives loan of 1 lakh like that who gives loan is called lender who takes loan is called borrower like that 
so for everything there is so in out of the uh, a marries b one boy girls if whoever comes forward to get the contract into operation so a has uh, interest to low marry b b has interest to low marry uh, b has interest to marry a but whoever will speak out that person will be called offerer proposer promisor that is whoever whether uh, uh, b comes out of comes out first if b will be afrar if a comes out first a will be afrar from when from when this offer emerges proposal emerges promise comes out that person is called promisor proposer afrar so the proposer or afrar or promisor has to make proper valid proposal promise offer then only that offer is valid as per section 2a of the indian contract act similarly when the offer is made promise is made that other person is called promise or offeree if the offer is the, the other person remains as offer so long as he is silent when once he moves his lips and gives willingness yes i will accept yes i will purchase yes i will marry like that then uh, the promise will become prom- uh, acceptor the offer will become acceptor until and unless uh, the acknowledgement is done by other party acceptance is made by the other party the other party remains as offer or promise when once the other party acknowledges accepts expresses willingness to do it or not to do it that person is called uh, uh, acceptor this is the no. so that is why this is the meaning of uh, suppose a tells that uh, a has house uh, a tells that i have my house would you like to purchase if b say yes i will purchase a is offerer b is uh, acceptor instead of that b tells that uh, i want to purchase a house you have house would you like to sell your house b asks b uh, uh purchaser as uh, seller so then purchaser is offerer and uh, uh, seller is acceptor so the position is when from when this offer comes out the is offerer other party is acceptor now this is about uh, meaning of the offer meaning of offer a yeah, offer uh, uh, definition section 2a of indian contract act 1872 defines uh, offer in the following word when one person signifies to another one person signifies to another suppose uh, when you go to shop uh, when we are going on the way some shop owner is there he is mango he will look out and sir will you like to purchase like this he will see uh, because we are going casually on seeing his uh, face uh, uh, face uh, changes uh, he is asking us to purchase the mango then only we will turn and uh, what is the price we will ask like that so that is why when one person signifies to another his willingness suppose we attend some marriages in marriages boy and boy are there young girls are there some of their parents are there their parents are there one young girl is there beautiful everything and their son is there handsome everything so they will look in that way no uh-huh, this girl is good if they'll give girl, girl, girl is offered to our son it is good like that finding that uh, boy by those uh, uh, face readings uh, we will be able to understand that is what is uh, when one person signifies uh, signifies to another his willingness girl's parent looks at uh, boy's parent looks uh, at a uh, parent and he is a uh, uh, daughter in such a way okay your you are good your girl is good my boy is good can we get it in such a way the proposal may come out from this side or that side that is what is called when one person signifies to another his willingness uh, his willingness uh, his willingness to do to do or abstain from doing to do or abstain from doing something a contract may be entered into for doing certain things or not to do certain things to do certain things or not to do certain things suppose uh, one farmer releases water uh, the another farmer uh, faces loss 
following fields if uh, sometimes uh, the, fa- uh, uh, the the farmer in uh, down uh, uh, towards downwards in a down uh, down area requests uh, uh, farmer in up area release water don't to release water sometimes water is necessary for field sometimes water is not necessary for field so a uh, farmer b may request farmer a to release water or not to release water so that is why so similarly there will be so many thing to do or not to do something this is win something with a view to with a view to obtaining the assent of the other so one is uh, expressing his willingness signifies his willingness to another with a view to get his uh, assent or acceptance so uh, to get uh, by obtaining to get the assent willingness consent of that another to so to do such act or action and uh, that it is called it is said to be make a promise if one person as uh, uh, where when one person signifies to another his willingness to do or not to do something with a view to obtaining the assent or uh, willingness of another the act or action is said that person is said to make a proposal proposal or offer or say this is the definition every student must by heart this definition under section 2a next one is uh, elements like an offer to be valid and enforceable certain conditions are to be satisfied elements conditions requisites ingredients all are same so first uh, this thing so number one is an offer must be express or implied oral or writing express or implied you know, express means expressed in words it may be uh, express or um, implied express means suppose we go to market some uh, man uh, cries ah uh, one dozen uh, one dozen mangoes 200 one dozen mangoes a uh, kilo 100 you uh, wake one one uh, one kilo 100 1 kilo 100 he cries so uh, if it is that is called express implied means uh, he keeps a basket full of uh, mangoes in front of him and stands there or sit in the shop it is implied so he is uh, so what is express what is implied we can say suppose a woman is seen in a, a basket on her head uh, containing uh, mangoes or apple naturally we will ask what is the price of the apples or what is the price of the mangoes each kilo then uh, whether woman is a vendor or whether that woman is a uh, suppose a housewife purchased some fruits and carrying in her basket we send generally ask uh, at what rate you purchased it so whether the that woman is a seller or that woman has purchased the fruits from some other market we will be able to understand by inferring from her conduct that is what is called express express selling by crying is express uh, selling by a silence is implied so that is express it is oral or in writing an offer can be made by orally orally means a can make a he wants to he uh, promises to be to sell his house be agrees to that if some two uh, witnesses are there then it can be done that is also valid agreement suppose if it is write written in agreement duly attested by two signer two witnesses it is also this thing so an offer can be uh, oral or writing this rule applies to uh, acceptance also this rule acceptance also then second thing is an offer must create uh, legal consequences an offer must be the any proposal must be legal must not be logical it must not be logical illegal so husband has a duty to give food and shelter basic needs to wife it is legal obligation husband uh, has no obligation to purchase uh, luxurious products like diamond like this one crore car they are not this is it is subject to his financial status whether he one crore car or a diamond necklace may be a necessity if they hail from royal family and rich families also the necessities uh, uh, the uh, the volte the volume of necessities depends upon family to family and other fashion socio economic conditions so that is why legal so when uh, the i uh, uh, offer or makes uh, proposal makes offer that must be give raise to legal consequences if it is legal 
it will give rise to legal consequences it is valid if it is logical it is not suppose husband promises to give maintenance it is legal husband promises to give any uh, diamond necklace uh, uh, costly luxurious car or pocket money that is not uh, that is logical 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 is not uh, uh, illegal but is uh, uh, it is not lawful and uh, enforceable there is a relevant case on this point balfour versus uh, mrs balfour is the relevant case it is the case of uh, 1919 kings bench and uh, what happened in this case uh, husband in the instant case uh, uh, left uh, uh, left for uh, london from sri lanka at the time uh, while going to london from sri lanka husband made a promise to wife's uh, wife to give pocket money of 30 pounds every month 30 pounds every month but he failed to give pocket money wife filed a case against husband uh, the court said that a uh, promise to give pocket money is illogical it is not legal it does not give any legal consequences this suit was dismissed then second one is uh, terms of offer must be certain section 29 of the indian contract act tells you the terms of contracts must be certain the terms of offer must be certain the terms of offer must be certain the terms of acceptance must be certain then only the contract will be certain if it is uncertain if it is illusory it is no contract at all no agreement at all no contract at all for example uh, you uh, you construct the house as per my taste i will purchase it what is your taste you cannot say uh, send me uh, 500 tins of oil what oil uh, coconut oil sunflower oil uh, ginger oil what is that it must be maintained unless there is an implied uh, condition to that effect suppose uh, a care from maha maha uh, kerala purchases all times uh, coconut oil uh, that is uh, uh, said five tins oil means all are coconut oil there is an implication suppose one always purchases groundnut oil send five tons oil okay it is groundnut oil but otherwise there is no sometimes that oil some sell this oil he purchases he still simply tells send five five tons of oil it is uncertain so that is why section 29 of the indian contract act then you said that the terms of offer must be clear uh, the contracts of contract must be clear as such the terms of offer must be clear certain then only the offer is valid the relevant case on this point is taylor versus portington 1885 case <coughs> in this case what happened that the the plaintiff uh, asked the defendant i wish to take your house for rent uh, if the drawing rooms are fully decorated as per present style this is the thing so here what is the present style the style in uh, uh, construction style in Maharashtra is different. Construction style in Andhra Pradesh is different. So, uh, so what is uh, my style may not be your style. What is your style may not be my style. Your we have house is heaven to you. My house is heaven to me. Uh, my house is heaven to me. So, what is the uh, present style? It is uncertain. So, here the plaintiff asked the defendant to uh, take rent of a different such house if it is fully decorated as per present style the terms of offer are clear when the defendant unable to provide the house duly decorated as per the present style of the plaintiff then plaintiff filed a case against defendant the court said your word dear plaintiff what you said the present style is meaningless the terms of offer are not clear and the court dismissed the case and this is the scheme so the offer may be uh, specific or general an offer may be specific or general this topic may be asked for short notes also the offer general offer may be asked uh, as a short notes carlil versus carbolic small smoke mall company may be asked as a, uh, asked as a short question what happened in this case was uh, carlil versus carbolic smoke ball company limited in this case is the most uh, important case in this case uh, uh, defendants uh, uh, defendants uh, a company uh, uh, made uh, prepared a medicine for infusion fever smoke balls smoke balls uh, defendant company 
కార్బోలిక్ స్మోక్ బాల్ కంపెనీ ఈజ్ ద డిఫెండెంట్ కంపెనీ దే ఆర్ డిఫెండెంట్స్ కమ్ రెస్పాండెంట్ దే ప్రిపేర్డ్ ఎ మెడిసిన్ కాల్డ్ ఇన్ఫ్యూజా ఫర్ టు క్యూర్ ఫేవర్ ఇన్ దే మేడ్ ఏ దే ప్రిపేర్డ్ ఎ మెడిసిన్ స్మోక్ బాల్స్ టు క్లియర్ ఫేవర్ ఇన్ఫ్యూజా అండ్ దెన్ దే గేవ్ ఇన్ దియర్ అడ్వర్టైజ్మెంట్ వీ హ్యావ్ మేడ్ వీ హ్యావ్ ప్రిపేర్డ్ వీ హ్యావ్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేడ్ ది స్మోక్ బాల్ టు క్యూర్ ఇన్ఫ్యూజా ఫీవర్ హూ ఎవర్ యూజెస్ దిస్ మెడిసిన్ యాజ్ పర్ ప్రింటెడ్ డైరెక్షన్ ఫర్ వన్ వీక్ ఆర్ టూ వీక్స్ దిస్ ఇన్ఫ్యూజా ఫీవర్ విల్ బీ క్యూర్డ్ ఇఫ్ ఎనీబడి ఆఫ్టర్ హ్యావింగ్ యూజ్డ్ దిస్ స్మోక్ బాల్ ఫర్ వన్ ఆర్ టూ వీక్స్ యాజ్ పర్ ప్రింటెడ్ డైరెక్షన్ రిమైన్ సఫరింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ దట్ ఇన్ఫ్యూజా ఫీవర్ ది కంపెనీ విల్ పే వన్ హండ్రెడ్ పౌండ్స్ యాజ్ ఎ డా వన్ పౌండ్ పౌండ్స్ యాజ్ అ కాంపన్సేషన్ to show our sincerity and honesty we are depositing 1000 pounds in a uh, reliance bank 1000 pounds in that uh, uh, in those days is like uh, 1 billion dollars like that very huge amount uh, they gave uh, that advertisement carly a woman uh, purchased this medicine administered this medicine as per printed direction but this influenza fever was not cured then she filed a case against the a filed a case against the manufacturers so the with the the, the plenty defendant was noted towards care, uh, care towards plenty because uh, the defendant is in a long place manufacturer the plaintiff is here purchased from medical shop the uh, duty uh, negligence uh, to establish negligence on the part of defendant the plaintiff the plaintiff has to show that defendant was duty of care towards the plaintiff that point is connected here and uh, and said that uh, the case was dismissed in the trial court and uh, carlil preferred appeal before the court of appeal the court of appeal said that applying the dotkins rule the the uh, dotkin of neighborhood rule was applied here and said that uh, the defendants come respondents are liable and this plaintiff in this case carlil plaintiff come appellant in this case carlil uh, was uh, held and entitled to get uh, uh, the compensation of uh, you know uh, 100 uh, pounds with cost of the suit this is the case for for in uh, uh, suppose carlil versus carbolic case uh, simply given in examination this case carlil versus carbolo comp- smoke ball company refers to general offer offer is uh, maybe a specific offer or general offer if offer is made to one person or group of persons it is uh, a specific offer if his offer is made to uh, public as a whole that is general offer suppose a, a is an offer is made to suppose i want to sell my house if i sell my I tell my a friend or his friend and his family member that offer is specific offer my friend or his family member alone can accept it if i put a notice board in the house this house is for sale it is general offer whoever is going on the road can see the board and uh, come to purchase suppose if it is given in advertisement it is general offer so regarding uh, uh, smoke ball uh, medicine uh, for inf- for curing infusion was given in uh, advertisement it is a general offer so with this specific and general offer is over next point for discussion is uh, uh, offer must be uh, offer and invitation to offer in agreement there are two stages first stage is offer second stage is acceptance in certain cases uh, preceding stage also is there that is uh, invitation to offer in some most of the cases ek agreement two stages are there first stage is offer first offer is made second stage is that offer has to be accepted so offer and acceptance are two stages in certain agreement three stages are there that is the preceding stage is called some stage before offer is called invitation to offer so offer invitation to offer is designed to get offer offer is designed or made to get acceptance 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 so this is the rule this is the rule first visakhapatnam next vijayawada next hyderabad like this so these are how the three stages are there a visakhapatnam is invitation to offer vijayawada is offer hyderabad is uh, acceptance like that so in some stage there are uh, three stages will be there so here uh, the best examples are uh, publication of uh, tender notifications in newspapers uh, uh, placing of uh, uh, goods and articles in showcases 
suppose when we are going in a market there will be a showcase in that showcase there will be a beautiful punjabi dress uh, significantly designed a college student a rich man's uh, daughter like our heroine in some movies enters into the shop and what is that uh, what is the price of that so it is some 5000 or 10000 it's a cost leader so you pack it i will give it then the shop owner tells madam it is only one piece we placed order the order will come next week we will be able to give you next week no it is only for publicity we cannot give so the hero in a na young girl a very rich man's daughter she feels so prestigious issue before the a classmate no 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 nothing doing you give it otherwise i will see your hand and file the case okay then the court tells her. so whatever is placed in showcase it is not an offer it is an invitation to offer the customer having seen that for seen that product in showcase will approach the shop that and ask the shop owner i want to purchase that uh, you give me that is offer then uh, the shopkeeper will have to accept yes i will give and he should pack it if you know madam he has no it is not only one piece it is not accepted so in that particular case showcases uh, products uh, placed in showcases products exhibited in showcases uh, uh, tender notifications or uh, yeah, yeah, j- application advertisement given for inviting application for jobs uh, uh, publishing tenders for quotations uh, they are uh, uh, they are invitation to offers similarly invitation to offer a tender notification also is a tender notification also will be uh, tender notification also will be Uh, tender notification also will be for example uh, one uh, big company like hindustan shipyard wants uh, 50000 bulbs for factory purposes uh, they will give notification there may be limited tender some four five companies they will give letters that is limited tender public tender sometimes uh, they write letters to philips selvania and some other company Uh, ram lakshman like that three four company they will receive quotation or sometimes if they give in paper a notification so many companies will give so whatever advertisement is given is invitation to offer so the companies uh, will give their quotation these 50000 uh, bulbs and tube lights we will supply for this amount that amount that amount different companies will quote the amount they are called quotations those quotations are called offers in a in the company in a meeting will open the sealed tender and will give acceptance to lowest tender to lowest quote quoted tender or uh, something better technically and suitable uh, tender also get then only it is called acceptance so otherwise tenders uh, placing of goods in uh, showcases they are not uh, they are not uh, uh offer they are invitation to offer the relevant case on this point is harvey versus fasi so in this case the defendant the plaintiff in the instant case asked the asked the plaintiff i'd like to purchase your bumper half and tell me inform me by telegram its price so here uh, the plaintiff gave telegram uh, 900 pounds is the value of bumper hull pens he thought that it is an acceptance and proceeded with the contract when the plaintiff uh, uh, expressed his willingness not to sell not to sell then he filed a case so giving uh, informing price of the bumper hull pen 900 pounds uh, telegraphically is not uh, is not uh, uh, is not acceptance it is only offer so here uh, whatever uh, uh, defendant asked uh, to inform over telegram is invitation to offer informing the price 9 900 pounds is offer thereafter only the again uh, the defendant will have to accept so there is no any here there is the there are three stages should be fulfilled here only two stages invitation to offer and offer are fulfilled acceptance is not fulfilled the case was dismissed and fell plain defendant lost the case these are the things and uh, next to in the way communication of uh, communication of offer or communication to offeree when an offer is made it should be communicated to ex- uh, offeree 
otherwise it is not because of an anger young man is there he wants to marry a girl but he doesn't like to reveal he is fearful to reveal for a long time in the meantime a match was fixed to the uh, uh, an engagement is fixed to that girl after hearing that girl he rushed to that place so i had strong inclination to uh, uh, marry your daughter no it is too late you did not ask me till date so what can we do we are already engagement is going on we are helpless girl's father will say girl saw girl also will say so there are so many cases in practical life boy wants to marry girl girl wants to marry boy but they not to come out speak out in the meantime either of the person gets uh, 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 gets her match engaged with somebody the other person will suffer similarly for purchase and sale transactions a a he wants to purchase this property but he was reluctant to ask if i ask him if you purchase your sell your property he may think otherwise that is why the problems are taking place so here the offer must be communicated to the offeree if it is not communicated to offeree offeree will not be able to accept there is a relevant case of on this point is lal men versus gauri that is relevant case on this point in this case the plaintiff is a servant of defendant the defendant is a defendant's nephew defendant is owner master a plaintiff is a servant a defendant a master's he is nephew nephew means brother's son or sister's son paternal or maternal he was found missing he went out and where about son now so then immediately he called his servant plaintiff here our my nephew is missing you go immediately and search for him who oh, immediately to discharge the orders of master the servant left the home in search of in search of the boy in the meantime as yeah, the boy's whereabouts are not known for some time out of anxiety and excitement the master defendant here gave publication in newspaper uh, my our boy is missing whoever brings my missing uh, nephew some uh, he will be rewarded some amount will be given to him that advertisement was given after some time uh, a servant plaintiff in this case brought the missing boy traced out the missing boy and brought him back and handed over to the master okay there ends the matter when the servant is uh, he is moving here and there one of his companion said okay you brought your uh, master's uh, missing nephew what he has given you what you are telling yes your master gave advertisement in newspaper whoever will bring my missing son will be paid something will be awarded so what award he gave you no 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 i don't know okay i will go and ask then the servant will go to master master ji <coughs> i learned from reliable sources that you gave advertisement to give some reward to anybody whoever brings the brings and hands over to the ne- ne missing nephew then i brought you our missing nephew so uh, you give me that uh, reward he asked he give me that reward no it is for outsiders not for you the master did not give then uh, the servant plaintiff filed a case then the court uh, said question whether do you know about the reward whether the reward offered by a uh, master is communicated to you at the time of sending you to trace out the missing nephew you, did your master tell you you bring my missing child uh, missing uh, nephew i will give you something did he say no he simply said go and bring a uh, search for him so there is no communication there is no offer there is no acceptance the contract is uh, dismissed so this is communication offer communication of offer may be asked as a short notes if it is asked uh, you have to write uh, the content plus uh, the uh, uh, this uh, case lalmel messages uh, gauri that also next one is revocation of offer section uh, revocation of offer section 5 of the indian contract act speaks about uh, deals with less down the provisions relating to revocation of offer revocation of offer means uh, cancellation offer cancellation of offer or uh, withdrawal of offer today i want to sell my house i give uh, extend the offer to somebody and now he is planning to 
make uh, advance but uh, before uh, acceptance uh, i said yesterday i wanted to sell uh, uh, to five days back this week i don't like to sell okay leave it and uh, in future the rates may be increased for some reason or other no 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 i don't like to tell so before acceptance is made by the acceptor he can uh, revoke the offer he can revo revo revoke the offer so what are the circumstances an offer can be cancelled an offer made by offer or can be cancelled why under what circumstances offer extended can be withdrawn by offer so uh, this is the thing first one is before the the offer or can withdraw or revoke the offer before the offer is accepted by the acceptor secondly suppose so long as he is remain he is offer 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 can be cancelled when once half re becomes acceptor the offer cannot be cancelled cannot be revoked cannot be revoked secondly notice of revocation notice of revocation so the offerer may be i wanted to sell your house uh, i am giving you 3 months time uh, but i gave you 3 months time now i have changed my mind i do i don't like to sell after one month <coughs> he gives a notice to offer and uh, cancel it so by giving notice over phone or over letter or anything by notice and giving prior information giving prior information is called notice by giving notice the offer can be revoked lapse of time <coughs> lapse of time of a and b enter into agreement for purchase of a sale uh, for a 50 lakhs house 5 lakh advance is taken so oh, the offer uh, the acceptor should pay the remaining 45 lakhs within 3 months or 6 months if within that 6 months or 3 months the acceptor unable to arrange the money then the the offer stands cancel offerer can revoke the offer revoke the offer but the offerer cannot wait for be uh, beyond 6 months or 6 years so that is a uh, lapse of time failure to condition precedent failure to condition precedent suppose uh, a offer a, a wants to sell the house of b but uh, the b uh, the house b is having some house loan housing loan and uh, government taxes uh, municipal taxes so uh, a told b uh, a a uh, who wants to uh, who offers to purchase the house of b put a condition you clear all installments bank installments one secondly you clear all house taxes then only i will purchase but those are that is the condition precedent if the conditions are fulfilled then only he will, he will have a, uh, he he has an obligation to sell otherwise the offer can be revoked the offer can be similarly acceptance also can be revoked subject to the these uh, points are almost identical and corresponding next one is death insanity etc suppose a contract to be valid and enforceable it must be a, within the meaning of section 11 and 12 the parties to the contracts must be competent within the meaning of section 11 and 12 of the indian contract act 11 uh, section 11 means major uh, age of majority above 18 years or 21 years as the case may be capacity chapter i will explain all these things in detail section 12 speaks about the person who wants to enter into contract from either from this side or that side must be of sound mind he must not be mental or pagal then he must not be an insolvent uh, he must not be a convicted person he must not be a alien enemy so these are the disqualifications so firstly the person should have competence or capacity to contract he should not have any incapacity under section 12 that is unsoundness of mind uh, insane unsoundness mind that is insanity uh, insolvency or bankruptcy convict alien enemy etc so this is the in the event uh, either party if the uh, offer i accept or becomes uh, uh, is not a major if the offer or accept or is not a if accept or become insane he becomes insolvent he becomes convicted person in criminal case if he becomes so alien enemy by the consequence of breaking out of war then uh, uh, the contract will be uh, the offer or can revoke the offer these are the various issues under which offer can be revoked next one is cross offer cross offer means uh, a from hyderabad uh, wants to sell b's house 
B from Visakhapatna uh, offers to uh, purchase. So, A in Hyderabad is having a house. He wants to sell the house. He writes a letter to B, Visakhapatna. B also wants to purchase the house of A at Hyderabad. He also writes. So, from letter of A to B or letter of B to A, both are offers only. One cannot be treated as offer, one cannot be treated as acceptance. They are called cross offers. Suppose after receiving the letter of A, B should write, yes, I will purchase. Yes, uh, B should write, yes, I will purchase. After receiving the letter of B, A also A should again write a letter, yes, I will sell, then only. If the third letter is not uh, made either from A or B, these two offers remain as offers. They are called uh, they are called cross offers. They are called cross offers. So this is the position. Now counter offer. Counter offer. A from Hyderabad wants to sell his house for 50 lakhs. B from Visakhapatna give response to it. No, I am ready to purchase it for 40 lakhs. This is not uh, uh, acceptance. That is not acceptance. Again, when B is ready to give a purchase for 40 lakhs, again A should write another letter giving acceptance. So, otherwise, yes, uh, this is called counter offer. So, yes, offer to sell the house for 50 lakhs, B's offer to, uh, B's uh, acceptance to sell the uh, purchase for 40 lakhs is not accepted. It is a counter offer. Then no, A should agree to that 40 lakhs, then only A will become the offer. So, as so long as acceptance is not made, they, are, they remain as counter offers. Counter offers. <laughs> Next one is standing offer. This is also, these are the items for short notes, dear friends. The offer and acceptance is important for short notes rather than essay question. And standing offer or counter offer standing offer or uh, standing offer or uh, open offer or continuous offer for example our hindustan shipyard limited visakhapatnam uh, or visakhapatnam steel plant wants uh, of, of, of uh, 10000 safety shoes for their workers 10000 safety shoes to their worker they they made an agreement with uh, uh, popular shoe company or Bata shoe company uh, to supply these uh, 10,000 shoes at a particular price. The tender is finalized. Tender is finalized. Hindustan Shipyard will request the Bata company uh, 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 for, for between January to Ma March uh, 250 shoes, uh, April to uh, April to June 250, uh, June to September 250. September to December 250, whatever the price may be up or down, the uh, whenever the shoes are supplied, payment will be made. If the price is reduced, price is uh, increased. No, ba no bother. Whatever price is fixed for each shoe, uh, 2000 rupees is fixed. For example, that 2000 uh, only 2000 Hindu Sun shipyard will pay to Bata Company or Popular Shoe Company. That type of offer by, by which your tender is finalized, that is called standing offer or open offer. Standing offer or open offer. Or otherwise, A offers his house uh, for 50 lakhs to B. You can purchase the house at any time of your choice. After for one year, five years, ten years. If at all I sell this house only to you, I don't like to sell the house to anybody anybody suppose a man is there he wants to marry a woman you take your own time whenever you are ready to marry then i marry if i want to marry i marry only you i don't marry any other then only that offer is also can be considered as open offer so these are open offer standing offer or continuous offer so with this this topic is over and a second topic is acceptance and offer and acceptance are uh, taught in one, uh, covered in one chapter in some books and uh, there are different chapters in some books 
and anyway uh, acceptance acceptance is almost corresponding to the uh, corresponding to the offer only so offer uh, acceptance means when uh, offer is made by offerer when promisor makes offer uh, promise to promise he is called promise the offerer when offer is re received when promise is received the other party's position is offer or promise if he acknowledges it if he agrees it he accepts it he is acceptor even he wants to accept the acceptance must be valid what is a valid acceptance uh, the definition is given under section 2b according to section 2b of indian contract act when the person to whom the proposal is made signifies his assent there to the proposal is said to be accepted suppose i received any proposal if i uh, when somebody signifies his willingness to do something or not to do something to me if i agree to do it or not to do it that assent i have to give consent or assent suppose when somebody gives proposal looking for my acceptance if i give acceptance that is called that if i give my assent or consent that assent or consent is called acceptance so that is why when one person to whom when one person to whom a proposal is made signifies uh, signifies his asset there to the proposal is said to be made said to be accepted so offer acceptance what are the conditions of acceptance offer must be absolute unqualified so when offer uh, offerer makes offer with some terms and condition the acceptor must do is as per the terms and conditions only if the offerer wants to sell the house for 50 lakh he should be agree for 50 lakhs only in not for 45 lakhs or 50 40 lakh then it becomes a uh, counter offer similarly if he offer or uh, gives time you should you should accept it uh, uh, within uh, 30 days uh, within 30 days only he should accept one week means one week he should accept see mode of uh, acceptance if he uh, should uh, give uh, acceptance through over telephone over uh, whatsapp message or uh, sms or over uh, through his friend or telephoning or through letter by what mode offer or ask the accept or offer you to do the acceptance you should do it should be done reasonable time it should be done reasonable time suppose he offers to sell some property to be b should accept within reasonable time suppose they are fruits it may be few hours or one or two days not more than that that is reasonable time reasonable time before revocation of offer suppose when offerer made offer he should not change his mind to revoke the offer before the change of mind before revocation before withdrawal offerer must give his acceptance offerer must give his uh, offerer must uh, uh, before withdrawal acceptor offeree must give his acceptance so that is uh, before uh, revocation of offer offeree must uh, give his acceptance so the acceptance must be made as per the direction of offer within the reasonable time or as per the mode prescribed as per the direction given that is there last one is uh, offer must be communicated the offer must be communicated to the offeree offer must be communicated must be uh, offer must be communicated to the offeree or acceptance must be communicated to the offeree both are same there is a relevant scales on this point uh, what is pavel versus lee pavel versus lee is a leading case on this point like lalman versus gori that correspondingly pavel versus lee is case is there how offer is to be communicated to offer the acceptance also must be communicated to offer or only in this case what happened was a school a school authority gave advertisement for appointment of a headmaster the plaintiff in this case applied for uh, that uh, advertisement is invitation to offer the plaintiff in this case uh, applied for the post that is offer application made is offer so the defendant company the defendant school conducted interview with a selection committee in the selection committee uh, the plaintiff is selected the plaintiff's candidate is considered but uh, 
whatever selection is made it should be kept confidential that selection should be approved by the management managing committee thereafter order will be issued when once the order is issued it is said to be acceptance of the candidature but uh, uh, after interview one of the selection committee members are known to the plaintiff uh, he anxiously asked about the interview then uh, out of a close relationship uh, yes you are selected you just uh, thank you uh, congratulations you are selected you will get order shortly but uh, some reason or other reason the man due to some ground or other ground the management decided not to fill the post decided not to fill the post and orders were not received then the plaintiff who is selected for headmaster uh, filed a case against the college management for this so the court said that uh, uh, so you made an offer to get uh, join the college but they should accept your services it is in order to accept your service they should give you appointment order they should give you appointment order if they don't give you appointment order it is not at all accepted you cannot claim the case was dismissed so after acceptance order is not given there is no acceptance the plaintiff's case was dismissed in the case and last point is when once acceptance is made when once acceptance is made offeror cannot revoke the contract when once acceptance is made by acceptor it is final it is final it cannot be given suppose the management gave appointment order basing on that uh, the plaintiff or uh, gave resignation to existing order and after giving resignation relieving go to this college and join uh, the management cannot say cannot say okay we have decided to after receiving appointment order you cannot say because he has already lost his job when once resignation is given and accepted he cannot go back and join that is why sir william samson a distinguished jurist in his textbook <coughs> law of contract on 23rd edition page 55 said uh, acceptance is to an offer the acceptance is to an offer when once acceptance is made to an offer it is equal to what a lighted match stick a uh, light, lighted match stick uh, to a gunpowder to train a gunpowder so when once uh, acceptance is made it is like to the offer where like uh, uh, a match stick to train a gunpowder suppose uh, if there is a petrol you put a match stick what happen it blasts suppose uh, there is a uh, material uh, diwali material to make uh, uh, to make uh, uh, flower pots to make uh, uh, rackets like this in that uh, uh, in that uh, material if you put uh, if you put match stick what happen it blasts like that so that is why acceptance is to an uh, acceptance is to an offer is what a lighted match stick uh, uh, is to train a uh, gunpowder is the quotation given by this suppose the question will be there the same quotation will be asked in examination the student has to say this quotation an acceptance is to an offer is what uh, is what a lighted match stick to train a gunpowder refers to when once uh, refers to acceptance of an accept, acceptance of an offer when once an offer is accepted the offeror cannot revoke it he must be binding on it then you will have to write uh, about the acceptance of uh, acceptance uh, with the uh, pavel versus uh, lee case and uh, meaning of acceptance uh, elements of fact absent with particular reference to this act absent with this offer and acceptance have been completed dear friend so please uh, uh, make use of my lectures so i have enthusiasm and inclination to give more and more lectures because uh, if i there is a delay uh, from my side you need not worry you have one year work to watch if you are interested but uh, from every future lecture i will give english and telugu completely one lecture i upload in telugu and one lecture in english now immediately uh, uh, i will give um, lecture on uh, free consent is a little bit bore 
I give uh, cap I give uh, lecture on uh, capacity, then quasi contract. Qua capacity quasi contract are very very uh, important in DG from examination and uh, uh, after uh, subject complete subject of contracts is over. I will give one lecture. Uh, what are the important topics? How you have to write? How you have to prepare notes? If it is for competitive exams, how you have to prepare? If it is for examination, how you have to prepare? If your handwriting is not good, stop writing. Continue writing, writing, writing. Your handwriting is most important. If you are indeed intelligent man, you are brilliant. Your handwriting is God given gift. If handwriting is very poor. You will not be able to secure go more marks. So that is why you maintain good number of side A section heads in all these things. I will give tips. If you uh, kindly uh, try to put uh, some of the lectures in playlist. So even though the lectures were uploaded long back, if I upload the lecture, every some new points will be covered. You take the old lecture on offer and accept and, and read this lecture, you will find lot of difference lot of different that lecture will have some meritorious points this lecture will have some meritorious points if you because uh, to become a judge you must have very good knowledge to go appear for competitive exam you must have a very good knowledge llb examination manageable wish you all success god